the Las Vegas Bowl, you got Oregon State and Florida. Oregon State currently a 10-point favorite. The total sits at 53 on this one, Saturday, December 17th at 1.30 p.m. Central Time. And my numbers since week eight have got Oregon State favored by three and a half on this. Now, obviously, these this model would include all the plays that Anthony Richardson did, et cetera, et cetera. You start looking at uh, just overall trends. Billy Napier, 17-3-1 against the spread in his last 21 as an underdog. Florida is 5-0 and against the number this year as a dog. They're only 2-3 and straight up. But they cover numbers, especially when numbers get this big. This line opened at 5.5. It's out to 10 at this point. Now, all these numbers, by the way, brought to you by BetUS. Make sure you go get signed up at the link in the description. But this is a, a weird, weird spot. Florida's defense not great uh, against the run. And, and it's certainly not going to be helped by the fact that Ventral Miller is uh, is not going to play in this one. He's going to prep for the NFL draft. But you look at this, and yeah, uh, it, it certainly would favor Oregon State, especially the way that they played late in the season. They're number seven in PPA margin uh, over the over the season. Or not over, the, since, uh, since week eight, excuse me. Um, they're number 39 PPA per drive on offense, number 15 on defense. Now, some of this has to do with who they've actually played. Florida has played a bit of a tougher schedule towards the end of the season. Um, that Florida defense, though, I mean, just, yuck. Right, You saw Florida State just go up and down the field on them, and yet they couldn't pull away because Florida's wide receivers, Florida's athletes were really, really good. Jack Miller's going to start at quarterback for Florida. I think that gives Florida a little bit of an advantage here because Oregon State does not have a ton of film on this guy. Right? Anthony Richardson, you know what you're going to get. And yes, he's an absolute dynamic playmaker. But Jack Miller... There was a lot of talk that he could have won the starting job had he not gotten hurt in the off or in the preseason, right? So there's you you might have a really good quarterback on your hands, and if he can come out and hit some of those uh, receivers, Pierce Hall, etc. I mean, you got an opportunity here. So this Florida defense, obviously, it's going to be tough for them to be able to stop the run. Uh, however, they are number 25 in stuff rate, number 31 in offensive line yards allowed. They are, however, number 77 in PPA per rush. They're number 114 in rushing explosiveness allowed. Well, here's the deal. Oregon State is only number 116 in rushing explosiveness on offense. So it's not like they break a ton of big runs. They're just incredibly successful. Number two in rushing success rate. Florida's number 62. You go over to the offense. PPA per pass. Uh, yeah, Oregon State's defense is awesome. I mean, number two in PPA per pass allowed. Florida's offense, number 62. Passing explosiveness allowed. Oregon State, number 20. Now, again, some of that might have to do with who Oregon State played uh, in the second half of their season. But all all numbers point to Oregon State doing really well here. Uh, but again, I look at this, and I am just kind of convinced that I think Florida's going to find a way to hang around in this ballgame because they're going to do something that maybe, maybe people aren't used to. Maybe Oregon State's not used to. Turnover margin, Florida number 16, Oregon State number 91. That's something to pay attention to. Penalties per game, number 87 for Florida, number 64 for Oregon State. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I look at this, and I think that Florida, who played the number five strength of schedule in the country per ESPN, and Oregon State, who played number 50, I think this number got a bit inflated. So give me, give me the Gators on this one. I like Florida to cover the 10 on that. Psst. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, jump in the comments. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.